Hey there, and welcome back to the Parkinson's Disease Education Podcast. We're continuing our series on PD medications, purpose, and mechanisms. In this episode, we're talking about MAOB inhibitors and why they may be important for you to know about as a person with Parkinson's disease. Without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Hit it. Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now without further ado, let's start the show. So similarly to COMT inhibitors, MAOB inhibitors are intended to essentially bridge that gap between doses of levodopa and to uh, help level off those peaks and valleys a little bit, either reducing off times or hopefully eliminating them altogether. MAOB stands for monoamine oxidase B. Monoamine oxidase B uh, breaks down several chemicals in the brain including dopamine. So just like COMT breaks down levodopa or dopamine, MAOB can also break down dopamine and hence inhibiting that can keep those levels of dopamine a little bit more level. One thing that's different about MAOB inhibitors compared to COMT inhibitors is that MAOB inhibitors can be taken as a standalone medication even before taking levodopa, although you tend to find them most often as an adjunct to levodopa. Whenever you tend to find MAOB prescribed as a standalone medication or as a monotherapy, it tends to be early on in Parkinson's diagnosis before a lot of the more severe motor and non-motor symptoms tend to come about. Um, But there is some evidence, although not a lot of strong evidence, to show that MAOB inhibitors may actually have a neuroprotective effect. In other words, may prevent some progression of uh, cell death in the brain, although there's no definitive proof of that according to the Parkinson's Foundation. So we talked a little bit about mechanism. Let's talk about which medications uh, are the most common MAOB inhibitors out there on the market that are currently being prescribed and then we'll go into side effects. So there are four common MAOB inhibitors currently prescribed on the market. You have selegiline and selegiline oral. That's one that dissolves. Then there's rosagiline and safanamide. So briefly, we'll talk about what the uh, brand names are of those. Selegiline is eldenopril or eldopril. Those are the two brand names you would tend to find. The selegiline hydrochloride orally disintegrating is Zelopar. You have rosagiline, which is azelect. And finally, uh, safanamide is Zadego. Side effects of MAOB inhibitors that are most common are mild nausea, some lightheadedness, dry mouth, Constipation can also be a side effect. Something to look out for though is psychoses or confusion or hallucinations. Now the latter two tend to be most common in those that are 65 plus taking Parkinson's disease, but they are something that can be possible with MAOB inhibitors. So just be on the lookout for that and discuss with your movement disorder specialist if that does occur. So just to do a really quick recap, MAOB inhibitors, again, like CONT inhibitors, help to bridge the gap between doses of levodopa. It can be found as a monotherapy prescribed on its own without levodopa or in combination as an adjunct to levodopa, helping to keep movement symptoms in particular at bay and uh, helping to lower those peaks and valleys between doses. For those of you watching on YouTube, the uh, brand names and generics for those medications I'll have up on the screen. But for those of you who are only listening on audio, I'll be sure to leave a link to the page on Parkinson's Foundation where uh, this information comes from, where you can read it if you're more of a visual person uh, or if you can't see it on, uh, on the screen. So thanks so much for watching and listening. Please let me know if you're watching on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments about what you've experienced taking MAOB inhibitors uh, if those are medications on your regimen. And I'd like to know your comments in general about this series and what you think about it and what you'd uh, like to see in future videos as well on educational topics related to Parkinson's disease. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode and be empowered. Catch you next time.